everybody, Steven here, and today I have the Best Office gaming chair that we're going to unbox and put together. I got this on sale off of Amazon. After tax and shipping was free, it was $53. I actually have this same chair upstairs, and I've had that for about a year and a half now. I really like it, and for one specific reason mainly is because that the armrest can actually fold up and down. I don't like chairs where it's locked in position because I have a tendency to just rest my arms here. And if I'm in a position where it's pushing my shoulders up, it just tightens my neck a bunch and then I can get a headache. So now that I can lift that up, I can sit there and game when I don't need it. But if I am needing it, I'd still have the option to actually fold that down. Now this is the white with um, black color variation here. They have multiple color variations. You can get red, blue, I think you can get gray. There may be one other color that I'm missing than black. Those are typically $89 and $99. I think $99, $99 is the black one. So that's the most expensive one. So everything's black on that one. Um, other than that, the, the chair itself is, is exactly the same, but that one is that. And then the other ones are $89. What's interesting is that if you actually look on their Amazon uh, page for this specific chair, like right now, because I was look, going back through it, I was like, let me make sure that the price is what it is. They have the one, and it's $49.99 right now. I think mine was $48.88 when I got it. And then after tax, it was a $53. But uh, they have that, and then it's the same chair. Nothing is different. But they have another one that is $79.99. So it's like they have the item on sale, but you could also pay more for it if you wanted to for some reason. So they have that on there as well. Um, just to cover some specs of, with this, this uh, can hold up to 250 pounds. I'm 205 pounds, it holds me just fine. But it is one of those things, if you do weigh more than that, it's not gonna be a chair that you're gonna want. Most likely this thing over time just gonna break down on you. It does have uh, built-in lumbar support. It comes with a neck pillow, which is one of those things I was like, eh, whatever, I don't care. And then I use it a bunch and it actually feels really good. Um, and then, like I said, the armrest folding. For me, the lumbar support, support wasn't enough. I actually have a lumbar support pillow and then I, uh, was trying to use another pillow to make it flat and then I realized that didn't quite work but the lumbar I actually did buy that and that was very very useful with this other than that the, the chair itself feels phenomenal but it does have some downside to it with the white obviously that's going to stain more and then um, I've seen some reviews on the Amazon um, site where they're saying hey delivery was horrible like it shows up and it's got like it's all jacked up so something that's really on the delivery company. This came via FedEx and then it does ship for 10 bucks. So if you get it on the deal, like I didn't have to pay for shipping, but if you don't, it's gonna cost $10 to ship. So think about that as well. So you will have that additional cost. And it took uh, about a week, week, week and a half to get here. It got delayed because of weather. That's, so that's something that's just unavoidable there, but uh, it'll take about a week, week and a half to get to where you're at with that. Keeping in mind also the fact that um, it has the white portions to it can get stained, but it also has mesh on it as well, which could tear or it's just harder to clean. I'm not a really messy person, so I haven't had a problem with that. But uh, let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed so you guys can see it. We're going to do a time lapse of me actually just building this thing and then we'll talk about it a little bit more. So that is it. It took 20 minutes to make, um, so it's not a lengthy process at all. But in the midst of this, I was like, this looks slightly different than my chair upstairs. In terms of as I'm putting together, I'm like, they kind of, like there's some things here that are different. The biggest one here that it had a little cord with it to a USB port. And the biggest difference, I didn't know this, and it said on the box, massage chair, it just didn't connect. I just thought that was more to do, because this is coming from China. So a lot of times there's just words on the boxes, I just disregard it. But no, you plug this into a USB port and you push it and it is massaging my lumbar spine right now. That is pretty awesome. And it's just a straight vibration and it only has the one function, but that's pretty cool. Um, not only the support, but the actual vibration. So just having, 
you can hear the difference there. But having that support there, this is a little bit more so than the one that I do have upstairs. But the arms we can see here go up. That was a feature that, like I said, I wanted. So, and this is actually, I believe, different material right here. So I'm going to, at the end of this, actually show you guys my massage chair upstairs. But I can drop the height if I want to, right? Because it's coming out of China, build quality is okay, right? You're starting to tighten those screws, and if you tighten them too much, you'll actually feel like, oh, like, either the screw itself is going to slip or you're going to break something. So be mindful of that as well. Tighten them, but don't overdo it. It does say in the instructions there, you want to check these every 90 days to make that sure that they're still tight, because you're actually using hex screws here, right? So that's one of those things that just slip. It's not like an actual screw. They do have the caps, I haven't put those on yet, and it does come with spare parts, which is nice, but you can put the caps on the side here so you don't see this stuff. So the adjustment here on the bottom, if I want to tilt back more, you do have that ability, which is nice. I typically don't wanna mess with that. I wanna be as upright as possible. I'm not trying to slouch while I'm here, thus the use of the pillow and then the lumbar support here. So very, very happy with this. It doesn't feel, in terms of once I'm actually here, I mean, it feels so similar to my chair upstairs. Um, I know I'm gonna really, really like it, but the fact that it has the massage in there too, that's pretty interesting. Um, I'm sure my wife is actually going to hop into this chair a bunch and actually use it. But uh, so far, so good. Definitely gets the thumbs up for, from me. Keep it in mind, you're only paying 50 bucks for it, right? So your expectation for quality shouldn't be insanely high. You're not paying like 300 bucks for an autonomous chair or one of those other ones, right? Like I said, the the fiber here, keep in mind it can get dirty, so don't necessarily maybe eat or drink anything that is going to spill and cause a mess or stain it, right? Water's fine, but I have seen other people saying like the stitching can wear down over time. I'm always wearing soft clothes, so I'm not in here in like a rough pair of jeans. But if you do have something like that and it's rubbing on this, this is gonna tear over time. So do keep that in mind as well. So like I said, the addition of the actual arms rests going up, now I can sit here really, really nice. I am six foot, I need it the highest setting so that my feet are just now touching the ground here, but you could go shorter if you wanted to with that. But that is as tall as it gets, right? At six foot, my feet are touching the ground very, very softly. If I drop it now, now there's a weight into my feet with that. So let's go ahead and cut. Let's go upstairs and I'll showcase that chair to you guys as well. All right, so this is my chair upstairs. Like I said, I've had this about a year and a half. It's the exact same chair. Maybe this feels a little bit wider, but I'm not going to drag this thing downstairs. It's just trying to get this stuff through my house. I only do it if I absolutely need to. But you look at it, it's the same chair, right? The only difference is that it's not gonna have the massager in this. I didn't buy it with that. But other than that, everything else is the exact same. But you can see my lumbar support pad here that I really, really like, just to push me out a little bit further, get a more comfortable position, especially if I'm doing longer sessions with gaming or anything like that. But it still has the armrest that I can pull up and down. I thought it was different material, but it's actually the exact same. So like I said, other than the massager, this is the exact same chair here. Same pillow, everything. Like I said, looking out for the mesh just because you could tear that or potentially stain it right there. Um, I do have mine too, so that it can actually lean back a little bit. So as I'm here, I have that good support and I can kind of just sit here like this. Sometimes if I'm watching a YouTube video or editing content, looking at it, whatever it may be, I may be in this position a little bit more, right? But that is it, gets the thumbs up for me. I like this, like I said, as long as you go in it with the expectations like, hey, I'm paying 50 bucks for this, like the one downstairs, or when I even paid, I think this one I paid for was like 70 or 80 bucks. It's not one of those crazy expensive chairs, so my expectation isn't as high. I've had it, I haven't had any problems with it. I'm not busting seams. Um, it still goes up and down. I don't have any fun problems with that. It still leans. I haven't broken this thing, anything like that. I haven't even had to tighten the screws and I haven't had to mess with any of that either. So. That is it. If you guys like the video, hit the like button for me. If you have any questions or comments too, let me know in the comment section below. Maybe there's something that I didn't quite answer for you with all the stuff in here. I will have a link for this in the description as well as the lumbar support. And I'll have the link for both of these, by the way. Maybe you want the massager, maybe you don't want the massager, right? So you can actually look at the difference. That now explains the difference on the Amazon site there, by the way, where you had the one that was the 50, the one that was the... Uh, 
69 or 79 bucks with this. But uh, I will put a, a link for the lumbar support pillow here as well. I think that's a good buy for this just because it cups the body a lot better. It feels extremely comfortable. So thank you guys so much for watching. Check back soon for more videos.